they go. Hoshino knows what he needs to do in order to win. When you've driven as long as he has, you learn a few things. Don't let up. Not even for a second. Come on, big guy. Give it everything you've got and then some. Looks like it started. Yep, looks like it. Geisuke is up against Koso Hoshino. Most people know him as Godfoot because of his expertise with accelerators. And even someone like Geisuke has got to be feeling a little nervous. Just meeting with them last night made me nervous. I can't put my finger on it, but something is seriously off about those guys. Try not to get psyched out. You're gonna be going up against God Arm. And we'll need to stay on top of our game for that, all right? Hmm. You've got a few tricks up your sleeve. Pretty smooth for such a heavy ride. Age comes before beauty, little man. Eat my dust! Looks like the race has already started. Wait a second, why are they starting with the hill climb? It's not gonna be just an uphill. Huh? I heard somebody say they're racing an uphill and a downhill tonight. They're doing a combination race? That's right. A hill climb followed by a downhill is one run. They keep running the course over and over until there's a clear winner. Huh. I haven't seen Koza Hoshino race in forever, not since he was still driving that R32 around. Man, that old guy can really drive. I went to this random meet at Tsukuba Circuit just because somebody told me Hoshino was going to be racing that day. I got to see him actually drift his R32 the entire way through the final corner. Seeing something like that isn't the kind of thing you can ever forget. <sighs> the Atessa ETS on the GTR can be a real bitch if you don't know what you're doing, and you can forget trying to drift with it, it's too heavy. It just wasn't designed for that kind of driving. The second the ETS detects the tail sliding, it kicks in and starts to spin the front tires. I didn't know that. But to be perfectly honest, I'm clueless about four-wheel drives. It's like this. If you pulled back your counter steer and stepped on the accelerator, you couldn't maintain a slide angle, which is why I prefer the FR over the GTR. The traction from the front tires will automatically take hold of the road and the car will stop drifting instantly. Huh? It's a liability, if you ask me. And as if that's not bad enough, the Atessa ETS decides how to distribute power to the front tires as you step on the accelerator. Which means that if you rely on your light footwork on the throttle, you're only making it all the more difficult to maintain a solid drift. But I thought you said Hoshino's GTR drifted in the battle you saw him run. Yeah, that's what makes it so memorable. Chief was there too, and even he couldn't explain how he did it. Come to think of it, the whole experience nearly left him completely speechless. <sighs> Wish I'd been there to see that. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty hilarious. Anyways, like I was saying, I think Hoshino might be the only guy who could pull something like that off. I'm starting to get why the Chief was pushing so hard for us to come and watch this particular race. Me too. I guarantee you there isn't a single person out here that could work a pedal the way Kozo Hoshino can. I mean, they don't call the guy Godfoot because he can walk on water, you know. <laughs> the Chief was spouting off about tonight's race earlier on. He said he'd be shocked if Project D was able to win, and I think I see what he meant by that. Yeah. I do know one thing for sure, though. This race is gonna be something else. I've had the GTR 3-2, the 3-3, and the 3-4. Nothing else on the road handles like these babies. After I got behind the wheel of my first 3-2, I knew I'd finally found the ride for me. Then I got the larger second generation 3-3, which turned out to be a total disappointment. That car was a waste of time. Ready? 
Set Goria! It didn't take long for me to get rid of that piece of crap 3-3 and buy another 3-2. This is the fourth GTR I've owned. The GTR 3-4! Okay, he's keeping up. No big surprise there. Damn, he's fast. I let myself get cocky because of all the modifications we did to the FD. That was a big mistake. Man, this GTR drives like it's on rails. with Oshino during a race is pretty freaking wild, dude. I bet it is. Is it true that he talks to himself? He yells, Doria! Or bring it on! But I don't think anybody knows why. Man, that is so weird. Then again, I guess every driver has his little quirks. Maybe that's just the way he keeps his focus. But whatever, it works. Seems to me that if I tried that, it'd hurt my concentration more than help. But I do know that either way, I'd feel like one crazy bastard, that's for sure. Yeah. Most people clam up when they're trying to concentrate, but Hoshino isn't most people. Listen to them. It's adorable how hard they're trying to figure it all out. Concentration through shouting? Ah, uh, how I miss being young and naive. Bring it on! Let's do this! Despite what some may think, Hoshino has a tendency to overthink his strategy. The more he thinks about something, the more worked up he gets. Talking to himself keeps him from concentrating too hard. I don't know how he came up with it, but it really seems to help him behind the wheel. My curiosity sometimes gets the better of me. I have to wonder what Hoshino would be like as a driver without his little technique. I know one thing for sure, though. As wild as he is now, I doubt he'd be the kind of driver I'd want on my team. Don't mess with me! Try and keep a level head out there, old friend. I'm counting on you. Don't go wasting time showing off. You're not a kid anymore. What I wouldn't give for a cold front right now. Let me get you a drink, sir. You gotta stay hydrated. Here you go. Appreciate it. You are sweating a lot. You sure it's just the weather, sir? <clears throat> Once you get to be my age, heat can really do a number on you. Mm hmm. I freaking love this car! The 3-2 I had before this had its share of minor problems, especially when it came to the understeering. Not the 3-4, though. This car was made for me! People that don't know any better think Mercedes and Ferraris are the best cars on the street just because they cost an arm and a leg. I could buy both cars tomorrow, and neither one of them would hold a candle to the GTR. They're the way to go! GTR, baby! Tell me something. In other battles, it seems like you pretty much let Case K do whatever the hell he wants. Mm. I was just wondering what it was that makes tonight so different. In case you hadn't noticed, these gentlemen aren't your run-of-the-mill street racers. Trust me, I definitely noticed. They're at an advantage. 
When it comes to the uphill, tire management is by far the most important factor. We have to play this smart. We try to compete with the four-wheel drive GTR, the tires on Keisuke's FD are bound to wear out. But what about Keisuke's accelerator work? I mean, you have to admit, he has gotten a lot better lately. I know he has. That's why he isn't my main concern at the moment. Someone else is well-versed in accelerators. Yeah, and I'm guessing it goes by the nickname Godfoot. Holding off on the hill climb and making a move on the downhill is pretty much our only option now. I do see what you're saying, but it just seems to me that seven seconds is cutting it a little bit close. Are you sure about this, Ryosuke? What if something goes wrong out there? Those seven seconds will still give us the window we need. A race can change dramatically in less time. I'm asking a lot of Keisuke, but he's fully capable of pulling this off. I'm certain of it. You were absolutely right when you said his accelerator work had improved, Fumihiro. But whether he's smart enough to put it to good use, that remains to be seen. I don't know, bro. This is one hell of a risky move. I hope I can make it work, but I don't know. This geezer is pretty damn fast. If I can't regain the seven-second lead on the downhill, all of this will have been for nothing. Regaining a lead is a tall order in just about any race, and throwing strategy into the mix doesn't help. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Bro wouldn't ask me to do something if it was easy. Don't get comfy, Gramps. I'm about to take the lead. Keep it steady. Not just yet. I got this. If Bro thinks I can do it, I know I can. Concentrate. Just focus on moving your right foot. Yeah, baby! 